just know him as the singing as the singing cowboy used to say. Yeah, he's called Elvis, is it? Yeah, Paddy Madol. I know him as Jesus Jones. I, I, I never knew his name, um, and I never even knew his nicknames. I just know him this, as long as I've been around. I think years ago it was uh, Jesus Jones. I don't know where that name came from, but I found out his name is Paddy. Everybody knows you through town. Yeah. Like for just going around and singing. Yeah. And I mean, but nobody else does that. No. Why, why, why do you do it? Like why, everyone else would be scared to do something like that. I mean, yeah. Why do you do it? Like, well, I don't think they have the feeling to do Oh, they're thinking about it. Uh, when we uh, another shop we're going to do or something like that, we're going to do a foil and you know, they're all, uh, that's all they're thinking about. Well, I could be singing a song and it could be sad and it could be uh, unhappy inside and people think you're happy and they just say, how are they saying I'm happy when I'm sad? You know, because I, I say they're not listening. They're not listening. You know, because you can't be happy all the time. Probably that you'd say if he was here now, you're mad going around singing around the street, you're mad. Some people did call me mad, they did buy didn't mind. Now each night I find the reason to stay with you. You there's always brighter days. Yeah. Music didn't come into my life now when I was big. When I was small, they used to be always going to McGowan's Fatch and I'd be sitting on the window with Shaker and singing. And we used to make guitars out of uh, with the plastic for the strings and cowboy boxes onto wood. We'd be there playing. <laughs> oh, you great times. You won something, I think, recently. Like, yeah, in the in the marshes for singing. Yeah, it was there this competition? But was, I was the only one there. You know, but uh, still, I'd say I could win even though there was anyone there. You know, I still still say I could have done it. You know. I would actually love to have the guts to wear half the things that I want to wear, but I don't. <laughs> Everybody's entitled to look the way they want to look. <laughs> um, well, I wouldn't wear them. <laughs> like growing up, you, I just always wondered about him. It's like, why is he singing and why is he dressed like a policeman and why is he on a scooter? But uh, I just think he's great now. Yeah, and I think it's nice. I think that we all want to dress a certain way, but we're we have this, you know, ideology or you know what what fashion should be or what we should look like. And he's obviously just doing what he wants to do, and he looks great anyway, you know. I remember Daddy saying, "No, the mission one day you're not going out like that." No, he wouldn't let me go out with nowhere. Yeah, he, no, I was taking nowhere. And he said, "You're not going out like that." And I don't know. To tell the truth, to this day, I don't know what I had on me. I didn't see any anything different in my clothes, you know, and someone said that to me before I say, no, I, I didn't see anything different in my clothes. Just the, this young one, she says, I have a half year party, and I says, what kind is it? She says, oh, that's it here. Can you tell so, me what, what kind of that one was? Yeah, well, I don't know what kind of, I, I say it's a German's hat, but I don't know. It could be a pilot's hat. There was a pilot one day when I had it on, he went. <laughs> I don't know, it just brings happiness to you, I suppose, positivity. Uh, when he walks down the street, everyone's smiling. Everyone's looking back and smiling. Kids, doesn't matter what age you are, everyone has the same reaction, you know? I often look at him and think, you know, if we could all have that much joy in our lives, we'd be doing well. Whatever about people thinking he's odd or strange, it doesn't matter, he's joyful. And he spreads it. I was in the worst of form, actually. It was like in 2005, I was in the worst of form. And he just rolled by um, Ann Street singing. And it just cheered me up. And ever since then, that's, he, just, he just makes me feel happy. I mean, do, do you, are you aware that you make people happy and stuff like that? I mean, is that something you've kind of set out to do? Or? No, I'm not really aware that I make people happy. I think, you know, some of them, uh, as I said to you one day, someone told me to shut up. Mm. But I just went on, you know, about my business, you know. Uh -huh. I should have stopped them. I should say, excuse me. And I should have yoked them and then went on. Yeah. You know. And how, how do you feel about people who say things like that to you? Oh, I think there's something wrong with them, like, you know. There has to be something wrong with him. Mm. There have to be. There's people that's not getting the kick of the, uh, uh, life. They have, uh, need drugs, they need this and they need that, but I don't. You know what I mean? But my life hasn't been that good uh, at all the ages. I never had a girl in my life at all the ages. I would really like to have someone in my life. Uh, you know, 21 and that, you know? Because I was a good looking guy, as you see. <laughs> Mum's name was Noah. Mm -hmm. Daddy's name was Charles. 
in get them remember uh, my sister's name was Phyllis about the I miss them now. yeah yeah I must dedicate some songs to them you know when I'm singing a the song they'll say you know I must dedicate a song to them I must dedicate a song to them our daddy was in the post office he was a uh, foreman then he went up the pole Oh, wasn't that good? The day the rat went up his trousers. That's a good one for you. The rat went up his trousers and he just got the rat. I couldn't believe it when you tell me. She just got and killed it. Gee, he's gone off the pole. I don't think you realise how important the part of Dundalk you are. But uh, I'm, I'm going to say this now, even though they're saying, but are they telling the truth? Are they telling lies? Not telling the truth. Because the devil's a liar. The devil say we are this and that, but the devil say that. There's your man, you know, like that, that ring. That's a, I suppose that's what everyone says. There's your man, you know. He <laughs> really, really, really does put a smile on everyone's face. Like he's just, he's just one of those characters. Like every town has them. Like every town has these certain types of characters. And like I should have happened the fan party. People that you know they encapsulate. <laughs> Town, you know, I like love the horror films. I love horror films. Uh, the myth I heard originally about this guy was that his brother died. Maybe I could be be wrong about this, but maybe this is what I heard: that his brother died, and ever since his How death today, his brother died, he kept singing, and he some of the be legends. And that his brother enjoyed music. That's that's what I heard. Uh, I just think that he's deadly. That's what I think of him. I think he's I deadly. I think I know how. Yeah. Nice job. Uh, how does he make you feel when you see him? Extremely happy. It brings happiness to you, I suppose, positivity. Uh, when he walks down the street, everyone's smiling. Everyone's looking back and smiling. Kids, doesn't matter what age you are, everyone has the same reaction, you know? Some people are, like, act ill towards him, but I don't know if I don't, I don't know why they do that, but I, it's great, it's great to see him. Stories, uh, just that he's a martial arts master. <laughs> no, I'm not a martial arts master. Just like even Wish it was. one day it was just, uh, he was going through. The Cambrassel Centre, it was like little guys up uh, just wrecking his head, just calling names and stuff. And he just turned around and like lifted three of them up at once and fired them onto the ground and walked away and just started singing again like nothing ever happened, you know. So that's, uh, that's not even a legend, that actually happened. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't remember that. I just like to say all things. <laughs> Uh, but they do do that in legends, they do that in uh, Chinese uh, legends, so they have like, you know, they win the fight, that might not happen at all, it's a legend. But they say a legend's not true, because it's a legend. We just have to love everything. What's that saying I say to you? Uh, to overcome pride, be humble, to overcome hate, be loved.